Hey guys, today's video is another makeup haul. This time everything is from Sigma Beauty. I've got a bunch of cosmetics and also some really exciting new brushes to share with you. So quickly before I get into it, I do just have to make my disclaimer. I am a Sigma affiliate. I have been affiliated with Sigma now for over a year, but first and foremost, I am a loyal customer. So I discovered Sigma about five years ago. They were the first ever brushes I purchased myself. I used them way before I ever started YouTube or Instagram or anything. So you can be rest assured that I wouldn't be affiliated with them and I wouldn't be talking about them if they weren't worth talking about and if they weren't worth being affiliated with. Their makeup brushes are literally like the best on the market in my opinion. That's why that's what you see me use because I literally don't want to use any other brushes. Sigmas are the best and you can always rely on them to produce super high quality brushes. So now that we've got that over and done with, if you have any questions about that, Feel free to leave them below, but without further ado, let's get into showing you what they very generously sent me this time around. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys I'm so hype about, it is the Titanium Brush Set. It is 12 long-lasting makeup brushes that come with a five-year warranty. What the hell? Have you guys ever heard of any other makeup brush company offering a five-year warranty? This is literally insane. So all Sigma's other brushes, the traditional normal ones that you'd see like these behind me, do come with a two-year warranty. So it covers things like your bristles, the handles, and anything like that. So if you have any problems with them and you've purchased them within two years, you can contact them. But they've now bought out this set, which is a five-year warranty. So the reason why they're offering a five-year warranty on these particular ones is because they've got a brand new handle and it's the future of makeup brushes invented by Sigma Beauty. And they have an unbreakable double threaded system. They've got waterproof based handles and they've also got their durable ferrules. Ferrules? I don't know how you, ferrules. Ferrules. I don't know how you pronounce that properly, but it's a bit of the brush where like your bristles are glued into the brush. I'll show you guys in a second anyway, but here's the info on the back of the box. But you guys, this set looks incredible. So it says the titanium brush set features our famous 12 piece essential brush set. Stronger than ever before, we developed an exclusive double threaded system engineered to tightly bring together the ferrules and handles for solid long lasting brushes. Each titanium tool features our trusted Sigma alloy ferrules and ferrules. <laughs> this sounds so funny, ferrules. Ferrules, I don't know, I'm saying it wrong, I know I am. And solid polymer based handles for brushes that are waterproof, made to outlast any beauty formula and years of brush cleaning. These are the brushes of the future and only Sigma has the technology. So first of all, congratulations Sigma. Second of all, you guys, the handles on these brushes are so nice. So this first one is a large powder F30 titanium brush and check out that brush. But honestly, these handles are incredible. These brushes, they feel incredible. They're very weighted. Actually, what I might do is hold the phone one second. So this is one of Sigma's copper powder brushes. And then this is the, um, what do we call it one? The titanium. So exact same style brush at the top, but the handles are very different. I'm so keen, so stoked, so stoked, so keen. I don't even know what I tried to say then before that. So keen anyway. Um, I'll show you all the brushes in that set. So like I said, the first one is a large powder brush. Then we have the Duo Fiber F50 brush, which is great for your foundations and stippling it all over your face, that type of thing. Then we have the Foundation F60 brush, which is this uh, traditional little paddle foundation brush. Then we have the F40 Large Angled Contour Brush, perfect for contouring, perfect for blush, very multi-purpose product. Then we've got one of my favorite blending brushes in here, which is the Tapered Blending E40 Brush. I cannot live without this. This brush is incredible. Then we also have the E70 Medium Angled Shading Brush there, the Large Shader F60 Brush, the Small Angled F65 Brush, the Concealer E70 brush. Oh, I needed a new one of these. Good to get in around those inner corners, girlfriend. Then another one of my favorite brushes, which is the Pencil E30 brush, just a traditional pencil brush. Then we have the Eye Shading E6, 
E55, sorry. This is my favorite eyeshadow brush actually for your lid colors. And then last but certainly not least, we have the F0, sorry, E. E05 eyeliner brush, which is just an eyeliner brush, nothing fancy, but it has the super great handle. So that is a really exciting new release product. Definitely recommend checking that out. Good work, Sigma. You guys are amazing. Next up, I have like a massive box. You guys, can you even see? A massive box of their cosmetics in here for me to try out. There's a bunch of exciting products. So I'm just going to dig in and start going through it. I'm just going to put my hair behind my ear because it's going to annoy the crap all out of me otherwise. I like hate the look of having my hair behind both ears, but you guys, it's been annoying me so much lately, so we're just going to move past it. So the first thing I have is one of Sigma's pink power sticks. Let's look at the shade. Oh, look how pretty the packaging is. And it's a really nice dark pink. So it's Sigma pink power stick so that must just be the color too their power sticks are really nice i have used them before and love them very much i have a really nice coral color in my drawer and the packaging of them is super high quality and the actual lipstick formulation is beautiful very long wearing and very creamy and comfortable on the lips so i'm super excited to wear that you guys know how much i love my pink lipsticks then we have, well, these are liners. This is in the shade Inscription, which looks like it's going to be a blue liner. I've been meaning to do like a blue liner or a green liner type of look. Is this a pencil or a liquid? Oh, it's liquid. Ooh, that looks pretty. I'm excited to try that. That's a really nice sort of purpley electric blue. Like it's not super blue. It kind of looks a little bit purple. Then we also have in... Legend, which I think is just a black. It is, it's just like a really nice, super black shade. So I'm excited to try that. I haven't used like a liquid liner like this in so long. Oh, what are these? Oh, I think they're pencil liners. Let me have a look. So this one is in the pink packaging in the Sigma pink color. And I believe these are just pencil liners, maybe. It's a lip liner. Oh, yay. So I can pair that with that pink power stick. So that's a lip liner. So all the others must be lip liners too. Yes, they are. They're all lip liners. Oh, I'm so excited. I actually like don't really have many lip liners. And it can be quite frustrating trying to find the right color to match the right lip. This is in the shade Artful and this is like a coral. Oh yes, girlfriend. This will go really nicely with the power stick lipstick that I already have in my drawer because it's like a coral shade. This is in the shade Make Your Mark. Ooh, that's nice. It's like a warm tone brown kind of reddish shade. That's really, really nice. I'm hoping you guys can actually see that. Maybe I should hold it like that so you can see the end. The end colors are very true to the actual product color, which is sweet. I love it when the little like example shade actually matches what the shade is of the lip liner. It's very helpful. Holy dooly. It's just, this one is called Initial. And it's purple. I don't have a purple lip liner, but I have purple lipsticks. This is awesome. I'm so stoked on these lip liners. I didn't even realize they had lip liners. Obviously, didn't look very hard. They look really nice. Oh, and this is a beautiful, like, dusty rose type of color. How nice is that? My tummy's starting to growl. Sorry if you can hear it. Oh, and there's one more. Heartbeat, this one is called. It's very similar to Mar Make Your Mark, the one I showed you before. It's like a sort of reddy, browny, corally type of hybrid shade. I don't really know how to describe it, but it looks really, really nice. I'm super excited for that. So keen. Okay, so in the next little compartment, yes, I have some more lipsticks. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, nearly lost the box. Shit. That would have been tragic because there's like breakable stuff in there. Stop getting so excited, honey. You're about to smash shit everywhere. So this lipstick is in the shade Bloody Good. I love it. <laughs> Bloody Good, eh? Bloody Good. Ooh, I like it. It is like a warm tone red. I love it. That is a gorgeous shade. I really love their power sticks. They're so nice. I'm going to wear these so much because you guys know I love just like a traditional lipstick formulation first and foremost over any other lip product or a lip gloss. I love glosses and actually I have a bunch of their glosses that I need to use too. So this is in the shade Stamina and it's a purple. Oh 
My gosh, that shade. What the heck? How nice is that? That purple is incredible. Oh, I can't wait to wear that. Then we have in spades. I think I just died and went to heaven. Oh my gosh, this is like the most perfect nude shade ever. Did you guys just see my face then? I just literally died when I opened that. Oh, I think I need to put it on right now, but I haven't taken a picture of it. Do I take a picture of it first or do I put it on my lips? Let's put it on. YOLO, let's put it on. That is so beautiful, so comfortable on the lips. I should have used one of my new lip liners, but I just really wanted to put it on. Very nice shade. Sort of like a rosy nude on my lips. It looks gorgeous. I'm obsessed. Then we have the shade Clover. I like this even more than the previous shade. Oh, you guys, it's like a nudie pink. Like it's more pink than nude, but it's got like nude undertones in it, but it's a pink. You guys get what I'm saying? Oh my gosh. I want to put this one on now. Let's just put it on over the top. Oh, that is such a pretty color. Obsessed, hands down. Obsessed, definitely my two favorite shades are Clover and In Spades. Yes, girl, they are so good. Then next up we have a shimmer cream. Ooh. Oh, this looks really, really pretty. Wow, check it out. That looks really nice. So, what do they say to do with it? Do you put it on your cheeks? Do you put it on your lids? Can you just put it wherever you like? It doesn't really say. Then I have their standout gel liner. So this is in the shade Stunningly Ladylike and it's like a dark brown gel liner. I actually haven't really had much experience with gel liners at all. I feel like I should start using them though because I think I'd like them more than liquid liners because I think they'd be a little bit easier to work with or like easier for what I want to use them for like for my lash line. Then there's an eyeshadow base in the shade Composed. Oh nice! I really like that color. That'll be really good for like when you want to do dark smoky eyes. Yeah that's really really nice. I like the packaging on that Sigma. Sigma's packaging is lit guys, like their packaging is so nice, very high quality, it feels very expensive, just super luxurious and nice. Then next up I have an aura powder, and some bubble wrap, can you hear it on my microphone? This is in the shade Cordirosa, I'm saying that wrong, I know I am. Cordirosa, I don't know, love the look of that colour. Super pretty. I love their um, compact packaging. Look how cool it is. Yes, I got an eyeshadow palette too. Got the warm neutrals eyeshadow palette. I haven't tried Sigma's eyeshadows. I think I need to do a video using all this stuff. Oh, the shades look so nice. Hey, I could use this with um that purple lipstick color. How pretty is that? This is a warm neutrals palette. I love it. I actually think they're not really warm neutrals. I feel like they're actually more cool tone. Am I crazy? Like, I feel like that's cool tone, that's cool tone, that's cool tone, that's cool tone, that's warm, that's warm, that's warm. Anyway, I don't care though. I like warm and cool tones, so it's fine by me. Oh, then I've got a brow kit. Brow expert kit. It's got an angled brow and a brow lash jewel ended brush. It's got a little pair of scissors, it's got a sharpener, tweezer, brow duo, highlight duo, and brow wax. Oh cool, I'm gonna have to try them. I've never tried their brow products either. That kit is so good. And it's in the shade medium. And then I have a bunch of their loose shimmer powders. These look so cool. Loose shimmer and loose glitter. This color is by the light of the moon. This packaging is so cool in the metallic packaging. I love, love, love it. Oh, this is like a set. It's got like three, each of these boxes have like three colors in it. Wow. So we've got a tinsel loose shimmer, which is like a silver color. You can sort of see it through the lid. Maybe just a little bit. Then we have Astral, Astral. I don't know. It's like a purpley duochromatic shade. Can you kind of see through the packaging? 
Then we've got super natural, which is like, oh, it's like a dark purpley duochromatic shade. That's cool. That's cool. This is the Cosmic Dream. Oh, I like these colors. So you got Pagan Terry, Pagan, Pagan Terry. You guys, I can't pronounce stuff for the life of me, but it's like a really beautiful duochromatic green color. Then we have Zeal. Wow, this is like a rainbow color. That's trippy. I don't know if you're able to see that on camera. It's like reflecting so many different colors and looks really duochromy too. Then this is a stellar glitter, which is like a pinky purple glitter shade. That's pretty. And it says on them what they are. So this is a loose shimmer. That's a glitter. Oh, so I've got some glitters now. Yes, girl. Can you guys let me know what you apply your glitter with? Like if you use a loose glitter, what do you use to apply it with and how do you apply it? Because I don't have like any experience with loose glitters. Like I've used those stealer glitters that like come in a liquid formulation, but I've never tried like loose, loose glitters. So I'd love to know if you've used glitter, what exactly you apply it with and how you apply it. Then I have Abracadabra. Oh, that's sick. So this is a glitter and this is like another one that's like rainbow. I wonder if the camera is actually picking that up. That looks so cool. So that's a glitter. Then we have two other loose shimmers. One is in the shade Transpose, which is like, it's brown. It's just like a really nice brown shade. And then we have Bedazzle, yes girl. And it's like a peach color. How nice is that color? And I, they're both loose shimmers, those two. Then I have Magic and Merriment. I don't know what Merriment means. <laughs> oh, this color's called Blaze, and it's like an orangey sort of goldy shade. More orange than gold, though. That's sick. So sick. Then we have Bewitch Glitter, which is like a white glitter with pinky purple sort of reflex in it. That looks sick. Oh my gosh. Can't even deal. Then we have Open Sesame and it is like a really vibrant, corally, pinky orange shade. That is stunning. Stunning. And then the very last thing in the haul is the Ice Castles little one. Let's see what three shades are in it. So we've got Felicity, which is like a light purple loose shimmer. Then we have Airy, which is like a blue shimmer. That's really pretty. It's like a sky blue color kind of. And then we have another glitter, which is called Ethereal, which is the same as that white glitter before, but just like a little bit whiter, if that makes sense. Like the pinky reflect isn't quite as harsh in that one. So guys, that is everything I have to show you in today's haul. Thank you so much once again to the beautiful girls at Sigma for hooking me up with so many awesome goodies. Let me know if you guys want to see a tutorial on anything or if there's anything in particular you want like specific reviews on and stuff. Just leave me some comments below. And of course, if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give me a big old thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll be talking to you guys really soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.